How's it going everybody, Goldhat here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 14 of my Cyberpunk 2077 walkthrough guide and in this entry we are going to be focusing on the two campaign missions, play it safe and search and destroy. Picking up right where we left off, we have completed the campaign mission, Gimme Danger, and we have gotten Play It Safe. Now the first thing I want to talk about the mission, Play It Safe, is once we get this mission, we need to pursue other leads and or wait until he calls us back. What we can do is just waste time and just skip it. We want to do 24 hours. Once we do that, he will call us right away. The parade will soon start. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Right after that phone call, we need to head to the bazaar in Japantown. I'm going to go ahead and head there now and cut out all that traveling. But once we get there, we're going to get some dialogue with him, and I will talk to you right after. Just in time. Goro, if you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. Found the clock hotline. That is not funny. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang! No more thing. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float. Enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Lens fucked beyond all recognition. Yet here I am. I know, and I thank you for this. Ah, thank me once it works. Now get in position. Very well. Wait for my signal. Stay safe, Goro. I am in position. The floats have started to move. Remember to be careful or you will face Arasaka drones. I also spotted the Netrunner in an Arasaka uniform. She is somewhere hidden. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach old snipers before Hanako-sama's float appears. Saburo Arasaka, the old chap, the world's most powerful. Beautiful! Watch it! Oh, shouldn't even be 
out here. You are close. He's almost in front. So next up in our objectives of play it safe, we need to neutralize the three snipers, which I'm going to be starting with the first one here. There are traps for each one. I'm going to be covering all of those, and I will talk to you right after. Got the one closer. Now you must leap to the balcony by the green arrow and take the elevator. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. I know that borged out ogre. Adam fucking smasher. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Sabura, I'll have to be satisfied with smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine, we. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Down. Good words to hear. You will 
find them to walk to a staircase at the end of the road. It's the shortest route to the next. He's the sniper. He positioned himself high. Keep me busted.
So we are about to disconnect the net runner from the net. Once we do that, we're going to have a mini little boss fight here. I do want to point out that he is going to run around and sometimes hide and you just have to find him. But for the most part, he is pretty decent. He's not too hard and he won't do any health regenerations. But you just got to blast him and we, after we kill him, I will pick up Finn.
I managed to. Buddha, is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. Supreme. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter.弱さ やり終えましょう。ありがとう。花子。せっかくの式典だ。やり終えなければ悔いが残る。ゴロ。All サブロ様は死ぬことを口にしないこれが俺にできる最後のご奉仕なのです。サブロ様の死について真実を明かすことが花子様無礼を働きたくありません。しかし。ビ、ラン。シッシッシッ。ビ、シャドウ。ウェ
Now that we have arrived at the hideout, we need to knock on the door and the correct answer here is four knocks and he will open the door for us. Okay, come inside, quick. I fear they had a coach. Now are you gonna tell me what the fuck you were thinking? I used a sedative. She tried to enable her tracker. I had no choice. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Hanako-sama. I was there that night at Konpeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. It's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Mad? Got no idea, lady. See, I got a voice in my head. An engram, one of your personality constructs. Engram? Yeah. I stole the relic Yorinobu tried to peddle off on Netwatch. While I was making my escape, got a bullet to the brain. Relic saved me. Now the damn thing's killing me. And I gotta stop it. Hanako-sama! He is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. Bad feeling about this. Now that we have fallen through the apartment floor and we have gotten back up, we have an opportunity here to get the devil achievement slash trophy and that is to save him. I'm going to be covering that real quick. First things first, you definitely want to hack everything in here. I was unable to, I think it's just a little bug on my end, but definitely make sure that you can hack all these little terminals and do that puzzle and get your eddies. But after that, we are going to be working on our optional side objective. Now that we go under here and go through that wall, we have an optional objective to save Takimura, and that is going to be right up here. We just need to go up these stairs. We're going to find him back in that room, and now in this way, we're just going to blast everybody out. 
if you do not do this, you're not going to be able to get the devil achievement slash trophy. But do not worry, you can just pick up from a checkpoint or a last save that you did. If you do not do this, you'll know because you'll just leave outside and Johnny will meet you. But if you grab him and you fight your way out of here, it will be Takimura at the end. rooms to the right. It's our own. No, that's no good now. Would you like being a coward, huh? You fucking gunk. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? Johnny? Yeah? Shut your gonk mouth, please. Saying random shit ain't gonna help anyone. How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying out- we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Song yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trick, V. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this stone. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Uh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <laughs> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad. Monaco? That you? 
But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Any word from Goral? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh, and you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already, is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi. Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Helman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least. Got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? Let us meet in person. At Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads marked in here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this, it's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. So right after that dialogue, we will get our achievement slash trophy, the High Priestess, and that is for talking with Hanako Arasaka. And that is going to be wrapping up this entry. I will be picking up right here in entry 15, so that is going to conclude entry 14. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.